when was the last time that you did something so well that somebody came up to you and said, man, you're a beast. And we're going to just uncover the stuff that you do naturally, the things that you're drawn to, the things that, that, uh, that you do the best. Okay, so the first step of understanding and discovering what kind of beast you are is really the fun part, because this is where you get to brag on yourself. I mean, don't hold back, do not be modest. This is the part where you really dig in and find the places where you shine the most. And you don't have to declare this to the world or share it with anybody, it's for your own benefit. So get out a piece of paper or get, uh, get a video recorder or just audio recorder. Find some way to capture this information. And what you're going to be looking for and what you're going to, to dig in and, and try to find is uh, what do you do well? I mean, like, uh, what are you best at? What are your strengths? Um, a way you can find that is think about um, when was the last time that you did something so well that somebody came up to you and said, man, you're a beast. Or they said something similar to that, but they said, man, you really crushed it. You killed it, man. You killed it. When was the last time somebody said that to you? Uh, when was the last time, if you can think back to where you were faced with a situation and for whatever reason, before you even started, you just knew you were going to crush it. And then you went through the process and of course you crushed it. Think about those times. When, when was the first time that you can remember that happened in your life? Um, I can remember just for me as an example, when I was a kid, I was in church and we'd have a Christmas pageant and an Easter pageant where all the kids in Sunday school would, would memorize a small verse, get up in front of the church and say it. For some reason, I wasn't a participant. I guess my mom thought I was too young to participate. And one time I turned and said to her, I said, I'd like to get one of those verses and, and recite something. I just feel like I can do that. So she took me up to the leader. The, she handed me a verse. I looked at it and I said, hey, th this is not long enough. Give me something longer. So she gave me a longer one. And I said, oh, you got anything longer? And, and the third time she did it, she gave me something that was maybe about 12 lines long. And I was about to I was about to ask for something longer again because I really I just knew I could do this. My mom said, hey, hush and just take the thing, memorize it and, and do your part. Well, I, I mean, I memorized all the lines with no problem. I stood up. I said it spoke clearly with confidence. Absolutely no fear. Crushed it just like I knew I would. Now, for most people, that's that's a scary thing, standing up in front of people and speaking. But for me, it was just like the proverbial duck in water. Ducks are not afraid of water because swimming is what ducks do. So this is the process we're going to go through and we're going to just uncover the stuff that you do naturally, the things that you're drawn to, the things that, that, uh, that you do the best. Think about, um, think about what you would do if money were no object. Walk yourself through that process. What would a typical day look like? Your ideal day. These are going to be clues as to, you know, what really makes you tick. So have fun with this. Get your paper. Like I said, get anything that you can to capture these thoughts because this is going to be huge into uh, figuring out what kind of beast you are and, and shifting your perspective in a way that's going to help you take massive action moving forward. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this video, head on over to unlockyourbeast.com right now for even more content to dive deeper into the topic of unlocking your inner beast and reaching your highest potential. Once again, that's unlockyourbeast.com. See you there.